yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. All right, guys. Old Leroy is back in the shop on the lift, ready to be worked on because our new trans and diff gets here tomorrow. So we are super excited. The ZR1 rear differential comes in attached to one of our T56 faceplated transmissions that we have. One whole unit ready to rock and roll, full rip, full freaking boost, full pull. Full pull. Full pull. So we got Leroy on the lift. We are gonna start prepping him for that new rear diff because a lot of things have to change. Well, before I go back there and show you what we have to change, there's a lot of things we need to touch up because Leroy is going to PRI next week. The PRI show, or Performance Racing Industry Show, it's like SEMA, but for race cars. If you go to SEMA, you see a lot of cool looking cars. This is the performance SEMA. So PRI is next week, so we leave in just three days. So we gotta get Leroy all set up looking pretty. He's in the Texas speed booth. I know a lot of you guys are going to PRI, so come on out, come hang with us, we'll be there. We're gonna be having a lot of fun. You can come check out Leroy and whatever else is in the Texas speed booth. I, it might just be him, I don't know. But, so let's get to this rear end here. Need some work. So James is already pulling it apart over there because we are putting on some new hubs. I'll jump to that clip. So guys, if you see here, I got some brand new hubs for the back of Leroy. And these are actually C6 hubs. And G-Force Performance Engineering sent us new axle stubs. These are actually stronger. The C6 has a stronger stub on it. So we're gonna be putting these on our current axles. And he sent two for our backup axles as well. So. We're gonna put these on along with the new hubs and we should have a stronger axle set up as well. And then on the axle itself, this thing is gonna be gone because on the ZR1 diff, there's just a flange on the outside of the diff. There's no inner stub now. So the bolts go right into the diff, which is pretty rowdy. So we gotta put those hubs on today, but in addition to these hubs, there's a lot more that's going on. So you guys have seen us pull this rear cradle off the car probably 684 times. This will actually be the last time that this cradle ever comes off of this car. So we are retiring Leroy's C5 cradle and switching him to a C6 cradle that has the mounts for a C6 ZR1 rear differential. So we gotta unbolt this, pull it off, and then we have to pull the control arms off because a C5 control arm actually fits on a C6 cradle. I don't know if the sway bar will, but this sway bar is pretty shot anyways. If you guys have never noticed the bend in it from the original accident Leroy was in when we got him and that's why we took the body off. So a lot to do today. We gotta pull this off. We gotta get all of our parts off of it and start putting them on the new one. All right guys, so here is the new cradle. It's actually a little bit beefier than the C5 one. So this bad girl, you know it's unfortunate James, what? is we're not gonna have bent pins anymore putting the cradle in. Oh. Cause the pins on Leroy's cradle are all bent up. Might have to bend these to fit our frame cause our frame's a little bent too. So got this bad girl off of eBay. Look at how different the diff mount is. So on Leroy, the diff mounts right here in the back in just that one position on the back of the diff. On the C6ZR1 diff, there are two mounts on each side, four bolts each, and it's gonna be pretty dang serious. So we're gonna have rubber mounts on both sides and wait until you guys see the diff. It is a freaking monster. But we've been told that pretty much everything that's currently on Leroy it's gonna bolt right up to this, so it's time to start tearing him down and find out if that is true. Hopefully everything goes smoothly because we don't have much time to get this thing ready for PRI. Well, all righty guys, I got Leroy's subframe on the ground there. We got the C6 one, and now that they're both on the ground, they do look pretty similar. Double diff mount, four bolts each. So that's pretty legit. We're putting this back on, it all fits so far, and uh, we're about to pull those lower control arms off and bolt them on there, see if it all fits. Would you look at that, guys? There's our C6 rear cradle, all ready to roll, everything bolted right up, not a single issue. So we got everything cleaned up, put it in our parts washer, and now it's just chilling. So until tomorrow, when the diff and transmission shows up, we just gotta wait. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so beautiful. So, see you guys in the morning. Well guys, we had to drive over to uh, FedEx and got a bunch of crap in the back of my truck because our transmission got delayed on a weather delay out of Orlando. I don't know how I that happened. I phoned a friend in Orlando. There was no extreme weather. <laughs> there was no extreme weather in Orlando, so. Although it got delayed, it's Friday at almost 5 p.m. and we're just now getting this diff. 
entranced, but I'm excited. Dude, this, this, this guy's, oh! Did he just crash the damn thing? I don't know, he did something. Dude, this forklift driver's so pissed because we showed up last minute and just now we want our stuff and he's got to dig it out of this truck. He's driving like a savage, dude. He ran into the truck, he's knocking boxes down. He knocked a propane tank dude. off the back of it. Look at him go in there. <laughs> he's so pissed, <laughs> he is fired up. Come on, dude, chill out. He's supposed to clock out at 4.30, we're making it work now. Yeah. Look at him throwing the, oh! <laughs> Dude, look at how beefy that thing is. Look at these peeking out. Look at this. Transmission, diff. Peeking. Oh, oh my lanta. And then this is the power glide for the uh, El Camino. Look at how small it is. In that oh, little box. Little fella. <laughs> little fella. All right, let's take her home. All right, come on down. Damn, James, the dad strength coming in hot. I'm so excited, man. We've been waiting so long for this. So many diff changes. Yeah, so many track side. Actually, most have been track side. Yeah, a lot of them have been track side. Guys, we have been working hard and oh my. Oh my, Lanta. This thing is ridiculous. There you go, James. There you go. 10 snips. By the beard of Zeus. That is the beefiest rear diff I've ever laid eyes on. This thing's a monster. Look at the hubs. Okay, so our right axles there. bolt right to that. Oh, this is serious. And look at like this how even crazy. this look goes to like thickness. the actual mount. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. We've been deprived our whole lives. Sweet honey barbecue. It's got a spool in it too. How come you haven't done this sooner? I don't know. I thought we were good with the C5 parts. I was clearly wrong. This is amazing. All right, let's get it out. Serious. This thing is a beast. Dude, look at that. Remember we were looking for the three rib? This is yeah. the 600 rib. Yeah, this is all the case. ribs. 47 rib. Ribbed for Leroy's pleasure. What's in here? I think we got some diff mounts and the power glide. Let's get the power glide, Cooper. It fits in here this way. <laughs> so small. Yeah. All right. Tubes. There's a diff mount. Yeah, There's a tail, tail shaft. Right. We got everything. Holly, look. Holly, come here. Look, she's got one in her mouth. Come here. Do you have another acorn? You think she's got one? Oh, oh she does. Sure. She I saw her in her mouth. Yeah. Holly. Oh, she's definitely got one. <laughs> Drop it. Drop. God, <laughs> Holly. Enough with the acorn. Now she she's getting, getting all aggressive. Thing. Here, come here. That was mine. Come here. That. Look, look. It's Dad's new diff. All right. Look, your buddy Leroy. Let's get this thing out. Well, that's a nice pallet. Got you a new pallet, dude. Yeah. You got me excited. That diff looks super. Oh, it does. Oh, oh sweet God. honey barbecue. It's probably heavier than me, so be careful. <laughs> oh, God. She's so heavy. All right, we're going in. This thing's huge. There goes all the weight reduction we did with the body panels. She's oh, bad. my God. That She's thing is insane. Look. It's bigger than you. Look. Dude, that thing is unreal. It's almost the size of the transmission. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm in love. All right guys, we're gonna put this thing in Leroy. We gotta do it fast because the day is almost over. We gotta get this thing done. But look at this. We were so bored all day waiting on stuff to come that we got Leroy all cleaned up. He is ready for PRI. Look at how shiny the intake and the charge piping is. He is so ready. Looks beautiful. It even says bad mother on it. Bad mother freedom. Freedom. That's the friendly version of what Bad this means. <laughs> this thing is so sick. What stage diff is this? BMF. <laughs> this is stage BMF from RPM Transmissions. Woo, she bad. bad. Listen, guys, I don't like to say sweet honey barbecue too many times in one video, but sweet honey barbecue. Look at this monster of a diff in Leroy. Holy crap, I am in absolute love. We gotta bolt it in, then we're gonna pick up the subframe, try and get it on, and wow, so pumped. Almost went together too easy. Yeah, finally, finally. Now there is still a chance we can break this thing. It's 
still a Corvette dip. It's the best one you can get, but it's still a Corvette dip. I wouldn't dip. put it past you. I wouldn't put it past me either. Hey, one thing we forgot to talk about is we now have the billet front cover on. Yes, and the pump to help with it pushing Ooh. fluid out. Cause you guys remember the front cover broke at World Cup and we didn't have a pump on that. So now we have a billet front cover and we got the new pump on this one. This is a serious setup. This is pretty much as bad as it gets. She's nasty. So if you guys have ever wondered how bent the frame on Leroy actually is, check this out. So no gap, gap, and these aren't tightened up yet. And then no gap and there's a gap. So you can actually teeter the subframe and the old one did the same thing so that this part of the frame's up and that part's down pretty funny and james just made it back with the official head mechanic yeah. she hasn't been on video yet this is oakland james baby who is now what four months three months almost four months oh hey buddy what are you doing he's like what do we got going on here so she's gonna hang out in the room with holly while we Finish up, Leroy. She's gonna get out here and wrench. Oh, you're gonna get her a wrench. Should we get her an wrench? There you go, Oakland. Here. Here. <laughs> Want it? She's like, all right. <laughs> all the lights. She's a little like, camera oh. shy. Like a true dad. Even <laughs> brought the earphones for when the dino's ripping. Woo! All righty, guys. Everything is done. I think Leroy is officially PRI ready. The shifter is already hooked up. I mean, literally. Everything is freaking done. The diff looks amazing. I cannot wait to try it. We gotta get some diff fluid in the morning. And uh, that's gonna be pretty much it. This thing's gonna be ready to rock and roll. Been working on this for a while now. There's a lot of little things we had to tweak and make work. Uh, quite a bit shifted around with the new subframes to just making sure everything is good to go. And uh, it all came together. It was Definitely some interesting moments, but uh, we are there. So huge shout out to RPM transmissions. This is seriously like the dream rear diff. It, uh, as far as Corvettes go, it doesn't get any better than what they uh, set us up with there. So, so we should be getting the Merca transmission back sooner or later, and that'll have a ZR1 diff on it too. I'm so excited to try this thing out, but next week we have the PRI show. So Leroy is gonna be there in full force. Just letting her in, Tater Chimp, and the Texas Speed Boost. So come on by and say hi. But we're heading home, guys. Thanks for watching New for Dale. We will freaking see you later.